GitHub Copilot can help speed up your coding by making suggestions as you type. To implement a simple counter class in TypeScript, for example, all I have to do is type class counter, and Copilot will start suggesting what this class could actually look like. What you might not realize, though, is that Copilot actually generates multiple different suggestions in many cases. So let's say we're looking at the current suggestion, and it's not quite what we're looking for. In this case, we can hover over the currently suggested text, which is shown as faded out here, and you should see this little toolbar show up on the top of the suggestion. Notice on the left-hand side of this toolbar, there's some numbers telling us that this is actually the first suggestion out of three, so it's saying one out of three. Now I can click on this right arrow here to actually switch to the next suggestion. And you can see that as I switched here, it's actually showing different text that would be inserted. So I can go and either switch between a version that has a decrement method or a version that does not. And then I can actually switch to the third version as well, just to explore all my different options. Once I find the version that I like most, so let's go back and switch to that second variant, I can just press tab and that suggestion will be inserted into the file. You can also switch between Copilot suggestions using just the keyboard. So let's go back here and get our suggestions for counter showing again. Now, instead of using the mouse, I'm going to hold down Alt or Option on Mac and then press the closing square bracket. So again, holding Alt and then closing square bracket or Option and then pressing closing square bracket. This will switch to the next suggestion. So you can see that the inline text here, which is again shown as the faded out text, is gone and been updated to show the next possible variant of what could be inserted by Copilot. If I press this again, so holding Alt and then closing square bracket or Option and closing square bracket, it will switch to that final variant as well. You can navigate between the different suggestion variants by holding down Option or Alt and then pressing either the closing square bracket to navigate forward or the opening square bracket to navigate backwards. So I can kind of just navigate around, again, find the one that I'm interested in, and then press Tab to finally accept that suggestion. Not every Copilot suggestion will have these multiple variants. So if you're looking for something pretty short or something pretty specific, there might only be one reasonable suggestion. However, in many cases, there's multiple different ways that the code could be written. And these different Copilot variants can really help you find something that's closer to what you're looking for. So that's a look at how Copilot can provide multiple different suggestions and how you can switch between them in VS Code.